What's up, YouTube? Sindel here once again with Sins Collectibles. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry. I'm on. I hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas. Yeah, hopefully. And in this video, we are going to be re unboxing the BAM Box original and the BAM Box horror box. Um, and the reason why I say re unboxing is because for some reason, my video got deleted when I was trying to upload it and I can't find it anywhere so yeah <laughs> so I have to do it again if you hear anything in the background that way is my guinea pigs that way I'm playing some Call of Duty but I'm not in a lobby right now and then this way is my little brother playing video games screaming at the top of his lungs because he's excited that he got the new Xbox One X so um, yeah, let it get into this. Yeah, let's get into this. So, I mean, obviously I already know what's in the box. I mean, I spoiled it for myself, but then I also know what I got. And I'm considering I got a one-up in both boxes. And I'm extremely excited. Still. So, it's okay, because... Yeah, I'm weird. So, when you open up the box, the tissue paper's already on the floor. I didn't put it in and this is what you are going to see. Oops, there's my one up card. Yeah. So, obviously, one up card. Yes. So, I'll show you the one up item. It was the pin. And it is the pin out of 500. You can see that. And it is from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. And I hadn't seen it until yesterday. What's it called? And I only seen a part of it. I didn't get to see all of it. But I mean, it looks like an amazing movie. I mean, from what I've seen, it's hilarious. Especially with the squirrel. Um, so yeah, the pin was numbered 48 out of 500. And that is the moose glass pin. Cup, glass, whatever you want to call it. It's, it's a something. If I can put this back on now. <laughs> See, I was so bummed that I had to redo this video. At least it's going to be a maybe quicker. Um, so yeah, that was the pen. So yeah, like I said, I spoiled this box. And for the most part, I loved this month's box. I know last month, you know, was a little... Ha, 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 ha. The hell's wrong with me? Um, but this month I really did enjoy, so... Um, uh, especially this item right here. It is a Supernatural Dean's God Detecting Amulet. And I'm, I'm a huge Supernatural fan. I've watched all the seasons twice now. And probably will watch it a third time once I'm caught up with my other shows. <laughs> um, so this is the front. And this is the back of the amulet. It's on one of these, like, I don't know what you want to call these. Uh, it smells like, um, I don't know. I know the smell, but I can't quite, you know, fig realize what it says. So, you know, just that. Uh, I'll wear it the rest of the video. Because... <laughs> I love the supernatural. I uh, yeah, so don't mind me and my Bummy Gears of War 2 shirt and my Loot Crate Mr. Poopy Butthole box of shorts. Yes, I am wearing other stuff underneath. Uh so the next <laughs> this was from um last month's box since uh I didn't get my patch last month and I did a lot of people. Wow, I um so we have the Decepticon patch. You know, uh the next item. <laughs> It's a nightmare before Christmas item. I'm really exhausted today, probably from the holiday season, so don't mind me. So it's a nightmare before Christmas item. And it is on a one million dollar bill. And there's the back of it. That's a good I mean, I like collecting money that's actually real, like the old, you know, fashion type of money. Well, yeah, the older bills and everything like that. I mean not necessarily fake collector money, I guess. Oh, the case is awesome. <laughs> um, 
The next item is from a Christmas story, and it is a mini leg lamp kit. There's the back if you want to see it. It comes with a little mini sticker book and a lamp that lights up. And like I said in the previous video, I'm going to find all this paper for like the next few weeks. So that's what it looks like without it being lit. And then there it is. If I can hold on to it. See, I was just really bummed that just the video just magically deleted from everything. I know. How am I doing on time? Yeah, I should be able to beat my record. And with the sticker book, it says a story in stickers. So, you know, just literally just stickers. Yes. The next item in the box is the print. Oh my gosh, can you just... No? Okay, fine. I'm not even going to close you. And this is the print that I received. It is numbered 629 out of 2000. And it says, the fan art collection art print, High on Life's Splendor, has been hand signed by artist Steve Gellinter. Gellinter? Gellinter. G Lenter, G Gellenter. Uh, it's created to destroy and is guaranteed to be authentic. Authentic. So there's the auto and the number. And then it says high on life's splendor right in the corner. Not how I feel about like the writings on the prints, but I don't know. Overall it's awesome looking print. And then last but not least is the auto. And I got the Yoda one. Star Wars one, but yeah. It says a hand signed by Deep Roy. It was signed during a private signing with the Band Bucks. So that is Deep Roy right there. I believe he was a stand-in for Yoda. Um, they also had the Willy Wonka version, the Star Trek version. And then um, I know he's in another version. I don't know what it is, but I have it. He's in this. <laughs> for some reason, I can't quite put my finger on what this is right now because my mind is blank but yeah so um it's funny i just watched um transformers movie and i one of them and i seen him in it and it was just hilarious oh wow can i not forget to put things in here Yeah, my hair's a mess, guys. Don't mind me. I just want to put it all in the box. I know I'm wasting valuable time right now. So the next box, which I am excited for, hold on, okay, is um the Bam Horror Box. Oh, and when you open the box, this is what you are going to see. I didn't even tell you who the pin was by. Did I? I showed you it. No, I didn't. Uh, the pin from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation is by... <clears throat> if I could only see it. Now, it's nice to tell you what it is because our spoiler booklets were not put in this month. But I'm glad to hear that they'll be back. It's by Brian Romero. There we go. You see when I designed the pin. And like I said, I am always a fan of the pin because they're usually always awesome. So yes. Now, first thing in the box that I'm gonna pull out is a creature from the Black Lagoon. One million dollar collectible dollar money thing. Oh, and there's the back. Yep, and more yelling, yep. Uh, and um, I like this one a lot better just because like the color palette that was used it just pops more um, so yeah the 
next item in the box is the Krampus. Krampus item. And I still have not seen that yet. Um, but it says... I should have probably looked it up. I don't know what that one word is still. Um, something von Krampus. Krampus, Krampus, Krampus. So yeah, it's a really like rustic looking bell. There we go. I'm definitely going to beat my time. Watch me not now. Um, then yes, like I said, I have the one up card in this one as well. And that's his 4D pin as well. And um, I seen it when I first opened the box. I was extremely excited because it is the pin number two, only 50, as you can see right there. And I, I don't have to go like, you know, sell some major organs to afford uh, this if I magically am able to find it. I'm still looking for the um, November horror box out of 250 which I cannot get my hands on sadly because I like to complete my collection um it is deadly it's yeah silent night deadly night and the design is by at dirty girl promo um, they created some pins that we've had previously um, but they look awesome and I can tell you since I remember it's number 33 out of 50 so so I don't have to take it off the back because you know how I am with, and how long it takes me. Um, so yes, I couldn't even tell you like the look on my face. Like I, as soon as I seen it, I stopped and I was just like, <sighs> I looked like I was going to cry with happiness. That's how excited I was. Yes. Yes, indeed. <laughs> the next item in the box is um, the Bianca Thompson sketch card. And this is the one we, well, I obtained in my box. And there is the back. Um, I probably should have gone and looked up the things again because I can't quite put my name, uh, you know. I forgot where this is from. I haven't seen it. I heard it was a really good movie. So, yeah. Um, I heard it was really good either way. Um, but I can't quite put my yeah figure on where it is from right now but her sketch cards are awesome and she does a really good job the next item in the box is the print it is the freddy vs jason print and i got number 217 out of 500 as you can see the auto is down there um and this is the BAM Horror Box Fan Art Collection Art Print. Freddy vs. Jason has been hand signed by artist Chris Kuchta and is guaranteed to be authentic. Chris Kuchta. Kuchta. Yes. Awesome looking printer. <laughs> wow. I'm so, yeah, special today. And then the last but not least is the autograph from I Spit on Your Grave. You see it signed there. Print box. Sticker. Uh, hand signed by Chad Lindeberg, who played Matthew and I spit on your grave. And there you are. So yes, that is my BAM December 2017 regular and horror box. So yeah, I, uh, yeah, I'm weird. But I cannot tell you how happy I was just to see this pin. Cause we all know I'm trying to complete the collection. So not including this month, I'm only down two pins. Two. Not including the Sugakas sets. Just down two pins. And one is the November one out of 50 and the gold True Love Rocket pin. Which is, which I can't, yeah. So, if you want, you can like, comment, subscribe. I was trying to answer my messages. Well, comments, wow, messages. Um, but if not, thanks for watching. Bye, YouTube.